Why? And the high girl wanna say I don't got time for no hate I need more time in my day I put an ice on my bay yeah. She riding on me I get my drip up and Niggas are hating on me how y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Akis and all my sisters out there. I'm your host, Aki. To my left, Professor Nims, the pundit with the PhD in pugilism. Huh? Talk to him. Nice, don't talk to him twice. So, this past weekend, we had a lot of great fights from Shakur, looking like the future pound for pound king, to Josh Taylor versus Regrius, to my man Lupin and Robert Easter. I even went to New York. Checked out my man and my broski, Khalid Tuwaiti. Shout out to Khalid Tuwaiti, Saddam Ali, and all the champions from Kome that I got to interview. I'm and I was surrounded by just champions, so on split decision, I'm going to do what a champion does and look for the knockout against Professor Nim. Now, last episode, episode five, they said, I um, knocked you out, Professor really? Nim. How you feel? You recovered? I'm going to go back to the comment. I saw, I saw a couple, though. I, I did, you know, so, and don't, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I trust and value everybody's opinion. But I did want to, so I just, let me get this out real quick. He I got some this, smoke. He got some this, smoke, and y'all. It's, it's not THC, any of y'all out there, Narcs or something like that. This is this is CBD. Oh, yeah. So a lot of athletes um, using the stuff like that. It You know, it helps and stuff, but. Um, oh, you, you're going to need to take some of the pain away after that? I knocked you out with that no, CBD. No. Actually, I just wanted to make sure that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Y'all know that. You want some smoke. I want all the smoke, goddammit. <laughs> Lomachenko. Dumb became the next French Fries champion. I mean, I'm sorry, franchise champion. I believe French Fries champions sound better, though. I mean, we, we see them at McDonald's, you know, everywhere, in any fast food. Yeah. <laughs> so that being said, how you feel about that? Um, Devin Haney is his mandatory, and all of a sudden, he done became the, the, the French Fries champion uh, at 135. Keep in mind. For some reason, Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko, fighters from the hope list, and as soon as they have mandatories from the coincidental list, they automatically, some way, somehow, became French Fries champions first, like the first time in history. And keep in mind, these two fighters in particular never defended a WBC title. Keep in mind, Deontay Wilder, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, they will never vacate a belt to avoid a mandatory. They will fight the mandatory in open, like with open arms. I mean, Wilder has been champion and the longest reigning champion since 2014. Deontay Wilder defended his title nine times. He about to be a super champion because he finna defend his title ten times. And that's back in the day. In order for you to be a super champion... Like for the WBA title, mm -hmm. you have to defend your title 10 times. I know that because Prince Nassim Hamed was a super champion after he defended his title 10 times. Then they told him, look, you already proved yourself. You don't have to fight no more mandatories. That's when you become super champion. Okay. But nowadays, like Lomachenko, he becomes French Fries champion all of, out of nowhere. Never defended his title against a mandatory. Like, keep in mind, the only guy he fought that was his mandatory was Corolla. Corolla, some way, somehow, he became his mandatory out of nowhere. Corolla lost twice to Linares. How did he even become his mandatory? That's the real question. But that's the only time he's going to fight a guy is when a guy is really not even on the top 10, but some way, somehow, they pump him up just to be an opponent, and they say, oh, he his mandatory. And that's the only time he fought mandatory. But when it's a real challenger like Devin Haney, a fighter from the Coincidentalist, a green version of a Devin Haney, a guy that... Lomachenko claimed, oh, I want my dream fight is to fight a Floyd Money Mayweather. That's a Floyd Mayweather prodigy, and you turn down that fight to, to duck a Devin Haney you, to become a French Fries champion? Is you serious? And like I said, what's going on with this uh, franchise champion? Because at the end of the day, Lomachenko cannot lose the title. Like, if he move up in weight, move down in weight, if, if, if let's say he, he vacates all the belts, right? And... Tank Davis wins all the belts, except of the WBC, because Devin Haney has it. And he fights Lomachenko. If Tank Davis beat a Lomachenko, he doesn't get the French Fries champion belt. However, if Lomachenko beats uh, a Tank Davis, he gets all the belts. So what's up with this franchise champion? Is it a way to duck fighters? And 
is a title with, that doesn't hold weight because you could win it, but you can't lose it. So what's the purpose of it in the sport of, in the sport of boxing? Back in the day, we had one belt. Now you don't know who the freaking champion is because there's four belts. And then there's a the fifth belt if you want to call them the other belt that don't really count. And there's the interim belts, diamond belts, super belts. So we literally got 10 titles in, weight, in one weight division. And we have like 20 weight divisions in the sport of boxing. So how many champions do we, do we have? 20 times 10? That's 300. <laughs> so that's why boxing is not growing. And it's a way to avoid fights. The tough fights for these fighters on the hopeless. So that being said, what's up with this franchise champion thing? Why Lomachenko got it out of nowhere and not Deontay Wilder, who actually have a WBC belt? Keep in mind, the WBC, and if you win a vacant belt, you have to defend it against two mandatories because you want a vacant belt. And that's what Lomachenko did. But some way, somehow, he don't got to defend it. And some way, somehow, he gets a French Fries champion belt. And some way, somehow, just like he did back in the day, he get a title shot against Salido without proving himself the second pro. Lose that fight and gets a, a, a title shot against my man Gary Russell. Russell. So we've seen this time and time again, fighters like Lomachenko from the hopeless, they get benefits like no others. So what's up with this French fries title? Because I'm, I'm tired of it, so I want your take on it. Uh, well, I... I I don't like it. I think it's another example of boxing shooting itself in its foot. We we have at, at this time boxing is a pretty healthy sport on, on the whole. There's a lot of great fighters. There are, and there are, there are people who are on the cusp of becoming superstars. But you turn off your hardcore fans and even some casual fans when you have these situations. So this is essentially where the sanctioning body, and and this is. I put this on Bob Arum, but where they basically get in bed with a boxer, and then so instead of um, honoring the process, what they are doing is saying that, okay, we want to still have you be our champion. So instead of mandating that you fight these mandatory fighters, they're going to they come up with some kind of title or some super belt or they elevate them, their status in a sense where they can – where they – claim that they're not holding up the division, but we're not getting the fights that we need to see. We're not getting uh, Devin Haney against Lomachenko. And so they, I don't know. I mean, so I, I, basically I, what I get from what you're saying is a way to maneuver. It's a way to duck because see Bob Arum, we could blame it on Bob because obviously he paid the WBC just like, just like um, Oscar De La Hoya paid the WBC to avoid a Charlo. He, that's what Bob Arum did. But at the end of the day, we see time and time again Lomachenko bullying Tank Davis in the media, calling him out, calling him the pound for pound on Twitter. <laughs> but when it comes to Devin mm -hmm. Haney, uh, Devin Haney called him Lomachenko. I'm at least expecting a response, but I hear no response from Lomachenko. I'm, I, that shows me that Lomachenko himself is fearful of my man Devin Haney because if he... Don't give Devin it. Devin Tank. You huh? said it. You said you think he's. Oh, you t you, you think uh, just because of him. No, no, no. I'm saying Lomachenko. I'm saying Lomachenko is fearful of Devin Haney because if he if he don't care about Devin Haney and he feel like he could take him at any day, well, d go ahead and do that. How about keep your WBC title and win this French fries title? How about do that? How about fight at Devin Haney and and be like, okay, I'm gonna fight Devin Haney, my mandatory. I'm gonna keep the WBC and I'm gonna win the French fries title. But like I said, it's a way to maneuver because this man, how is you a two-time world champion and get an opportunity at a vacant title? A vacant title, the two top mandatory is supposed to fight for that title. Not a two-time world champion and, a, and a, a mandatory. That don't even make sense. So it was supposed to be Devin Haney versus Lil Campbell to fight for the title. And yeah. they kicked Devin Haney out of there. It was, uh, it was actually Devin Haney, I believe, the number one mandatory. They fought Luke Campbell and, Loma, and Lomachenko, who's not even a mandatory. He's a whole champion, and he fought for that belt. Keep in mind, like I said, if you win a vacant title, you have to defend it twice, at yeah. least. He don't have to defend it. They gave him a, fr a French fries champion belt. Like I said, it's equivalent when Floyd Money May won a belt against Conor McGregor for the by the WBC when they gave him the million-dollar belt. It's just a title. It's, it's a trophy. 
because you can win it. If you beat a Floyd today, you're not going to get this money belt because it's not a belt. It's basically a trophy. So state as that, as that, you're not a champion because if you can win it but you can't lose it, then what's the point? That being said, my man Terrence Crawford, he came on and stated there's no such thing as a French fry, I mean, as a franchise champion. Yeah. He said there's only a regular champion that holds a belt. He don't care about no interim belts. He don't, there's no such thing as super belts, diamond belts, diamond, whatever. There's only the real belts and one champion, and that's how the sport should be. One champion, one name, one uh, in the sport of boxing. And I definitely co-sign that 100%. That's what Deontay Wilder is pushing for. And that's what Terrence Crawford is pushing for. Now, imagine imagine Terrence and Deontay Wilder getting this French fries belt to avoid a mandatory. You know what kind of backlash they're going to get, especially if they're mandatory now is somebody tough, but they was willing to fight their mandatories every time they got a chance to. And as soon as it's somebody tough, you vacate the belt like Lomachenko did and look like Canelo did. It exposes them. It shows the WBC is biased. It shows they got an agenda. It shows that boxing is politically corrupt and they try to create more belts so fighters can maneuver, so they could duck like Lomachenko, they, so they could keep the image of him being Matrix. He ain't no Matrix. We saw that against Luke Campbell. So that being said, what you think about what Terrence said about the title? Because at the end of the day, Terrence been an undisputed champion. Now Luch L Lomachenko, he claimed he want to be undisputed. He can no longer be undisputed because he didn't gave up the belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deontay Wilder been champion since 2014. He never got this title. And if he does get the title, he won't even accept the title because he ain't going to give up his belt that he worked hard for. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's about to be a super champion if he beat Ortiz the second time. So what you think about what Terrence said and um, about... No, I mean, that's that's one of Terrence's stable mates, but he's still... He's, he's, Who? Lomachenko, in the sense that they, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're under the same promotion. And Lomachenko ducked Terrence Crawford, too. But real recognized, real, and he knows that with, with Terrence, he's he's got a lot of, he's a young guy, a fairly young guy, but he's got a lot of old school ways about him. And uh, the boxing purists look at these type of politics that seep their way into boxing, and it's something that you don't want to see. So even though Bob Arum is uh, his boy he's still gonna call call bs when he sees it um yeah. i i even saw um tank and um broner you know they, they they had a good laugh about this this oh, franchise they uh they championship say. well basically they, they just kind of like laughed at, um you know just laughed about the and did even you know and basically they did point to um some preferential treatment i guess you can say that lomo might be re might be received. And like I said, Lomachenko then avoided a Salido rematch. They want to pay Salido the money he deserved, even though that's the guy that beat him. He turned down a Manny Pacquiao fight. It may it make you look bad. When you turn down a Manny Pacquiao, and Manny is this guy that everybody's chasing, and you're the only one out of the bunch that's going to turn down a 40 grandpa version of Manny Pacquiao fight. You know what I mean? Was and, was this about injury or anything? Hell no. He just said, nah, Manny, Manny too old. I don't want to make my legacy off of him. Oh, yeah, and, that's, right, that's right. And like some <laughs> BS. I he think talk, that would be actually like, a really good fight. Yeah, like man, Manny beat him. Manny beat him. Yeah. At this at, at this time. Manny you, beats him. Meet at 140. Is it, is, is, Manny it, was willing to go to 135, he stated. Like, come on, man. Went, that's hor that's a, that's a bad look. Like you are here and dove it, ducking the Devin Haney fight. Like I said, he said he wanted to be as great as a Manny Pacquiao. He ducked Manny Pacquiao. He said he wanted a dream fight with Floyd Money Mayweather. He avoid the prodigy of a green version of a Floyd Money Mayweather. Lomachenko, we don't believe you. You need more people. We don't believe you. you your dream fight is with Lomachenko because if it is, then you would have fought at least Devin Haney and showed us what you're going to do to Floyd. Man, so, you right. are head capping. You a whole cap. Look, you see what I got? This ain't a cap. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no cap in my game. Hey, what, what, Bucket. what, what, what? Bucket. My man over there, what my man, <laughs> yeah. well, Professor Nair, he got a cap over there. I hope he ain't capping though. But you, you need more people because we don't believe you. You need to start wearing a cap. 
You know what I mean? Because I, at the end of the day, ain't no cap in my rap. I preach. I don't even rap. That being so said. I have a, so just real quick to close this out. So right now, if they made the fight, Devin Hayden against Lomachenko, who would you favor in that bout? If it was prior to this, I would have picked Lomachenko in a close fight. Okay. But now, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in Lomachenko because he avoiding this fight for a reason. Like, how am I supposed to, um, to, to, to like, believe in him? When he out here avoiding the fight, mm. you know what I mean? Like I don't even. It's like this. He Maybe struggled. Maybe there's some some method behind. Look, the madness. It's, 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 he avoided he avoided a Devin Haney fight. He avoided all these fighters I just pointed out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. don't ask it out. Keep smoking. I'm about to take a hit. You know what I'm saying? But um, keep in mind, my man, what's his name? Lil Campbell, right? Mm -hmm. He gave him a good fight. Lil Campbell can't even fight in the inside. He ain't the talent okay. of Devin Haney. So if he did that well against Lomachenko, I feel Devin Haney possibly could beat him, and that's why he don't want to fight Devin Haney. Or he feel that he's going to expose him. One of the two. But on to the next topic. I'm like Lomachenko, we want all the smoke. Uh -huh. On to the next topic, by the way. this Piece is of CBD. This ain't, that. You know what I'm saying? We out here just because, obviously, I got to take a hit because I'm finna smoke. <laughs> Professor Nen, best believe that. Well, so I was thinking, man, I was, you know, they call me the pundit with the PhD in pugilism. But somebody was like, man, you need to change your name. Professor Nims, I don't know about what you're talking about. So I'm like, should I be the body snatcher? Nah, I think, I, I think, the, I think. Or should I, or should I be the Grim Reaper? I think you I, should be, because Professor Nam, the reason they say that, they saying you can take it to the Aki University. You should stay, change it to student Nim. <laughs> <laughs> because you out here being my student on the show, but hold I'm on, hold be on. the Grim Reaper out here. I'm out here we, collecting bodies, we're baby. Finna, we're finna go into your topic. Um, obviously, my man Charlo. Rabbit season. Lines Duck only. season. You know what I'm saying? Smoke season. Duck season out here. Yo, my man saying duck season. I brought a whole line because I'm finna talk about what the nah, line got going got on. Long, you got a whole no, on Canelo. Like Loma Chico, we want all the smoke. Uh -huh. On to the next topic. By the way, this Piece is Piece of CBD. CBD. Obviously, I got to take a hit because I'm finna smoke. <laughs> Professor Nim, best believe that. So well, I was thinking, man, I was, you know, they call me the pundit with the PhD in pugilism, but... Somebody was like, man, you need to change your name, Professor Nims. I don't know about what you're talking about. So I'm like, should I be the body snatcher? Nah, I think, I, I think, the, I think. Or should I, or should I be the Grim Reaper? I think you I, should be, because Professor Nam, the reason they say that, they're saying you can take it to the Aki University. You should stay, change it to student Nim. Student Nim. <laughs> <laughs> because you out here being my student on the show. It, Professor Nam, man. Yes, sir. So we stated earlier, like I said, you know, Professor Nim. He might change his name to student name because I keep taking him to the IQ University. No, no. So that name fit Grim better. Reaper, because I'm, because I'm, because I'm, I, I thought it was Grim Reaper because I'm catching these bodies. Man, you caught your own body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You buried your own self on your own grave. And yeah. hey, you dig your own grave today. That being said, it's still strap season, still line season, lines only, all of that. Duck Canelo season. Se season over there. That being said, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Check out Split Decision. Host it and drop every Monday. Now, this episode. Make sure that you subscribe to the Aki TV. Yeah, and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live because sometimes y'all going to miss on the uploads and y'all don't want to miss my content. Any last thoughts, Professor Nim? No, just tune in. We appreciate all the comments, good and bad. Remember, we want all the smoke. We lighten up the CBD out here. Maybe, maybe we get them to be a sponsor. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we want right? that. We want that. You know what I'm saying? We're hot. De Nero in Spanish. Is yes, that how sir. De Nero. Yes, sir. De Nero. Sir. I'm pretty sure you know being on Canelo payroll and shit. So uh, that being said, uh, appreciate you, Professor Nair. Always great talking to you, man. My favorite moment of the week is when I go and take I Professor Nair to my Aki University. Because keep right. in mind, I was his student. <laughs> I would go to school. Still is. And, and man, Professor Nair... <laughs> He would give me a hard time. I spend 10 we hours have to on cut the that paper. Out, though. Listen, don't, listen. I don't want I them spend, knowing where I work on, at. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're going to cut that uh, part. We're going to cut, I'm, I'm gonna cut that We're going to bleep that. We're going to bleep that. I'm going to cut that part out. But, you uh, know, I'm over here. You know, I'm, I, I, I got to spend like 10 hours to do a paper. And guess what Professor Nim will do? Take our 10 points for no reason. So oh, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to give him a hard time on this show because he's my student on this show. This is the IQ University. So appreciate it, Professor Nim. 
Oh, always great talk. Why? And the hack I wanna say? I don't got time for the hate. I need more time in my day. I put an ice on my bay. Yeah. You riding on me? I get my drip overseas. Niggas are here.